Zero mackerel is my absolute favorite mackerel for eating raw. One surefire way to make sure you have a zero mackerel instead of a Spanish mackerel, even though they look very similar, is this stripe right here. You're only gonna get that golden stripe on a zero mackerel, not a Spanish. Spanish will just have the spots and they will be this goldish color without the stripe. And they're both phenomenal raw, but zero is my favorite. Look how cool that dorsal fin is. It looks like it's painted black on top. And today we're gonna show you guys the best way to cut it for raw consumption. First, we just wanna fillet it normal, pick up the fin, go behind the head at a hard angle, not losing out on any of that delicious meat behind the head, flip our knife around, separate the connection right at that pelvic fin. We're gonna make a small incision right on top of the dorsal, slide towards the head. Now you've got a nice little opening. We wanna rest our knife right on top of the skeleton and pull towards the head. The skeleton on these mackerel is very thin, very easy to cut through. So you wanna make sure your knife isn't angled down hard, that it's just resting right on top with a very slight slope, otherwise you'll cut right through that skeleton. Flip our knife around, go down to the tail. Then we'll take the tip of our knife, go to the top of the center spine. Now we're gonna put the tip of the knife, base of the ribs, angle it slightly up, separate the connection of pin bones make to the ribs. Now you can lift on your filet harder without tearing the meat. Tip of the knife right on the second side of that center spine and slide all the way down. Now we're going to rest our knife right on top of the ribs and slide down. Look at that. Now we're gonna put the base of our knife right in front of this fin. And look at that, absolutely beautiful filet. No meat lost, all the rib bones are right there. There's not much meat left in the skeleton, but you can take a spoon and scrape the rest of it off. That makes for great tartare pokey. Um, it's, uh, I like it for tartare better than pokey because the texture is gonna be finer. It's also great for a spicy roll because it's already chopped up. Just a little bit of kimchi sauce or sriracha, phenomenal that way also. We're gonna flip it over, pick up the fin, go behind the head at an angle, wipe the blood off our knife. Flip the whole fish around, tip of the knife right at that opening and slide all the way down, making sure you don't cut through that delicate skeleton. Now we're gonna rest our knife right on top of that skeleton. Again, on these mackerel, these skeletons are very easy to cut through. Now that you're at the center, tip of the knife right on the other side of that center spine and slide down. Tip of the knife, base of the ribs, angle it slightly up, separating the connection the pin bones make to the ribs. Now you can rest your knife right on top of those rib bones and slide down. Look at that. Knife right there. And boom, another beautiful filet. Left a little bit of meat left on the second side. That's where you wanna bust that spoon out and make a good mackerel tartare. Now that's the easy part. The harder part is portioning it out for the best raw preparation because you really don't wanna miss out on how delicious these fish are raw. Because we're gonna be eating these fish raw, first thing we wanna do is rinse off the blood. And I absolutely love cleaning fish on these killer docks. It is the absolute greatest fish cleaning station known to mankind. All right, now that we've got it hosed off, we're gonna take our fillets. We're gonna trim off this belly. Got a little gaff mark right here. We don't want that. We're gonna cut that out. Now, we're gonna cut it into a handful of sections. And what we do with these sections is we go on both sides of that pin bone line and that blood line. And we're gonna twist our knife and push forward. And look at that. You get these beautiful little loins. Skinning an entire Spanish mackerel or most mackerel 
is pretty hard going from tail all the way forward. So cutting it into sections like this makes it super easy. So we're going on the other side of that bloodline, twist our knife around, little push forward, and look at that, super clean macro loins. So we've got the skin, a lot of that sinew left behind. The bloodline is left right there and not on top of the meat with the pin bones right there. That is a thing of beauty. Now we can repeat that process to each one of these. And we are, look at the iridescence in that meat. That is absolutely gorgeous. We're going on one side of the pin bone line and we're gonna start making our turn with the knife right on top of that bloodline so it does not go into the filet. Flip it around. Nice smooth line, no saw motions. So you can see right here that I did not go all the way down to the skin. So I can twist my knife right on top of that bloodline and get these beautiful, boneless, skinless, no blood pieces of zero mackerel and this is gonna be phenomenal table fare. Now just for fun, I'm gonna show you what happens when we skin one of these delicious mackerel fillets without cutting it into sections and getting these little loins out of it. Start at the base of the tail, twist our knife around. Now the curve that happens on these mackerel fillets makes it really hard to get the, the skin off in one shot, most people cut right through the skin and this is gonna help prevent you from cutting right through the skin. Now we're gonna wanna trace down the whole thing to take the bloodline out. And there we go, we got the bloodline out. So both of these ways works very well but this one right here, cutting it into sections and turning it into loins is more bulletproof. It's easier to do. And if you're not very experienced at skinning and deboning mackerel, this is going to make your life much easier. And if you are experienced and you want to clean it this way, have right at it. Absolutely love that these killer dogs have drawers. Got our food safe bags. We don't need to worry about Ziploc or anything. This is going straight to dinner tonight. We'll do another video on the proper way to bag up fish if it's going in the freezer. But these, they're going home right now. Now we've got perfect blocks for cubing up or cutting into nice sashimi slices. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a killer day.